G'day team, Jeremy Britton down on the beach after my sunrise meditation and this is going to be just a very very quick one for those who are dealing with smoking. Uh, I was dealing with a client yesterday who's smoking and spending around about $150-$200 a week on cigarettes which is kind of a lot, that's food for some people, that could be food and electricity for some people as well. And if you can get rid of that habit, obviously it's going to do big favours for your health and it's going to do big favours for your wealth. Save up that kind of money and by the end of the year you're going to have six or eight thousand dollars which is going to make a big difference to whatever you want to do. Now if you're struggling with cigarettes, probably you've been tricked. The body actually likes to do deep breathing and um, I come down here in the morning, do my meditation periodically throughout the day. It's good to stop and take a breath, whatever you're doing. If you want, you can set an alarm on your phone or on something else on your computer and just do a couple of minutes of deep breathing every hour. Usually someone who's addicted to cigarettes is not so addicted to the nicotine as what they think they are. And it is the habit of just de-stressing, taking a few deep breaths. The body loves deep breathing, but someone has tricked your mind and told you that you can only do deep breathing when you've got a cigarette in your mouth. Just try doing that. Try doing that without a cigarette in your mouth. When you put a cigarette in your mouth, you do change your breathing. Not from the normal breathing, breathing shallow into your chest that you're doing throughout the day. Put a cigarette in your mouth and all of a sudden you're breathing deep into your lungs. Try doing that without the cigarette. Someone has tricked your mind into giving your body exactly what you want. And if you're struggling with weight, there's a possibility that your body occasionally craves lettuce and occasionally craves a pickle. Someone has tricked your mind into saying that when you're craving a pickle or when you're craving lettuce, you have to actually go out and buy a cheeseburger or you have to go out and buy a Big Mac. Just try it, go out and have a handful of lettuce, have a pickle, see if it actually does better for your body and better for your mind than being tricked by the marketing department into buying McDonald's. Mainly about the smoking, pass this one on to your friends who are smoking. Set a timer on your phone, it doesn't cost anything, doesn't hurt anybody and you don't even need to go outside if you want to. Just spin your chair around, take a few deep breaths for five minutes every hour. Even if you can go one day without a cigarette and you pick it up again tomorrow, that's going to be beneficial for you. I'll talk to you soon.